Okay, we're going to do another example here of a categorical syllogism using a Venn diagram to determine if it's valid or invalid. This time let's have an argument with uh, both a universal and a particular statement. We'll start off with something like this. All dogs are mammals. Some dogs are poodles. Thus, some mammals are poodles. Everything's true this time, but the question is, is the information the premise enough to absolutely guarantee the conclusion? For Venn diagrams, we'll have three overlapping circles. We'll use our premise to guide us in uh, labeling them. Upper left will be D, upper right M. There's one letter left, P for poodles down here. So all the poodles go in the P circle, all the dogs in the D circle, all the mammals in the M circle. Since we have a universal and a particular statement this time, you really need to do the universal first. It doesn't matter which comes first in the order of the argument, do the universal first. Otherwise, you end up shading off half an X and it just doesn't, doesn't work right. So we'll start this guy first. All D or M. I'm focusing my attention on the D and the M circles. To make sure that all Ds, should they exist, would be here, I shade this area, which tells me there are no dogs that are outside the mammal area. And there's nothing here. All the dogs, should they exist, would be here in the overlap of D and M. For the particular statement, I'm going to use an X. Some statements get an X. It's going to be somewhere there in the D circle. It's about Ds, about dogs. Some D or P. Now, what I would expect to see is an X somewhere in this red area. And there's two, two quadrants. I've already shaded this out, though. So I know that's where the dogs have to be. So I'll put an X right there in the middle of that area. Okay. Now, is there enough information in these premises to absolutely guarantee the conclusion? Well, the conclusion says some MRP. And what I would expect to see here is there would be an X in this area where the M and the P overlap. And indeed, there is one. So we have a valid argument. There is enough information in the premises to absolutely guarantee this conclusion.